A young woman went to another town to look for a better job. She promised her mother she would come and visit her often. But four months passed, and she still didn't come home. Her mother missed her very much. One day, in the middle of winter, the woman shouted, April is here! How is it possible? April was her daughter's name. She finally came to visit her family. It's usually under you. Take away its first letter, and it'll be above you. Take away its first two letters, and you won't see it. What is it? It's a chair, which can transform into hair and air. Look at this picture and try to understand what's wrong with it. Why would this young lady put a pair of boots on the table and a saw in the fridge? How about this image? Does anything strike you as odd? There's a snowman in the oven and a fish in the toaster. Dennis, Maria, and Julie were at a party. They decided to play a game. There were five hats, two red ones, and three yellow ones. The friends closed their eyes, took random hats, and put them on their heads. Then they opened their eyes and looked at one another. Each of them had to guess what color the hat on their head was. Dennis and Julie said they didn't know, but Maria exclaimed that she knew the color of her hat. What color was it? It was yellow. Maria saw that Dennis and Julie were wearing red hats. And she knew there were only two of those. You can't share it until you take it. What is it? It's a photo. You see a combination of letters O-T-T-F-F-S-S. What should be the next three letters in the line? They should be E and T. These are the first letters of the names of the numbers from 1 to 10. Michael was walking along the street when a sealed envelope landed near his feet. The guy picked it up. Inside, there was a key and a note. It said, Help! 323. Michael entered the building. Soon, he found a door number 323 and used the key to open it. He saw a man near the open window. He was gagged and tied to a chair. Once free, the man exclaimed, Two men broke into my office, tied me up, and took all the money from my safe. Luckily, my hands were free. I managed to write this note and throw it together with the key out the window. Michael didn't believe the man and called the police. Why? The envelope was sealed. How could the man do it if he was gagged? It can never be thrown, but it can be caught. People are always looking for ways to lose it. What is it? It's a cold. Two teams were playing soccer against each other. Each of the teams scored two goals in total. And still, it wasn't a tie. One team won, and the other lost. How come? One of the teams scored an own goal. Young but very popular blogger Eric wrote his first book. It was a huge success. The guy was preparing for his first book signing. He was very excited and nervous. So he took a break to steady his nerves in a quiet corner. But even at 6 p.m., when the meeting was supposed to start, Eric was nowhere to be seen. In 10 minutes, a security guard found him lying on the floor in the bathroom someone had hit the writer on the head. The police had three suspects. Angela, his agent, said she had been solving some urgent organizational issues. Frank, one of the fans, said he had been a great lover of Eric's books for years. He wouldn't do anything to harm the writer. And Patrick, the security guard, said he had been doing his job, keeping the fans away from the entrance. 
Who hit Eric? It was Frank. It was Eric's first book. Frank couldn't possibly be reading his books for years. Look at these guys carefully. Who is a fake fireman? It's the guy on the right. He's not wearing a helmet and doesn't have a special bag. Plus, his pants aren't part of the uniform. You have three empty cups and ten sugar cubes. You need to distribute these sugar cubes between the cups so that each of them contains an odd number of cubes. Put three sugar cubes in the first cup and three cubes in the second one. After that, put the remaining four cubes and the second cup in cup number three. Now, the first cup has three sugar cubes, and the second one has three sugar cubes too. As for the third cup, it has seven sugar cubes, four of its own and three in the second cup. Two roommates, Deborah and Rachel, were walking home after doing their weekly grocery shopping. Deborah kept complaining about how heavy her bags were. Then Rachel told her, I don't understand why you're upset. If you gave me one of your bags, I would have twice more bags than you do. And if I gave you one of mine, we would have the same number of bags. How many bags were the girls carrying? Rachel had seven bags, while Deborah was only carrying five bags. Detective Black's assistant, Josh, was late for work. When he arrived, he told his boss the following story. I was driving along the highway when I saw an unconscious man lying on the left side of the road. I picked him up and took him to the nearest hospital. Finally, he came to his senses. He told me he had been pushed out of the moving vehicle. The bag and all of his money and documents were left inside. But Detective Black said the man was lying. How did he figure it out? If the man had indeed been pushed out of the car, he would have been lying on the right side of the road, not the left one. Kenneth was starving. He found a nice diner that served burgers and bought one. After a waiter brought him his order, Kenneth went to the bathroom to wash his hands. But when he came back, his burger was gone. The guy looked around the diner and understood who had taken his lunch. Can you figure it out? It's the young woman with a dog sitting at her feet and sniffing the air. If she was just drinking coffee, which is what she's pretending to do, the dog wouldn't be so interested in her. Mary was walking through the park when she spotted a hungry dog. The woman decided to share her snack with the animal. Unfortunately, there was a stream between her and the pooch. She squatted down to attract the dog's attention and showed it the food. The animal was next to her in no time. There was no bridge over the stream, and still, the dog wasn't wet. How is it possible? It happened in the winter, and the stream was frozen. A rich entrepreneur disappeared from his office. The only thing he left behind was a note with the numbers 6, 4, 9, 10, and 11, and a calendar. The police have five suspects – James, Kevin, Carol, Jason, and Laura. Who knows something about the man's disappearance? It's Jason. The numbers mean months of the year, and the first numbers of these months make up the culprit's name – J-A-S-O-N. Matthew bought a new smartphone and a phone case. He paid $310. The gadget cost $300 more than the case. How much did Matthew pay for the phone? He paid $305. Tony was hosting a party. Three hours after it started, several guests came up to the guy. They asked where they could charge their phones. Unfortunately, there was only one socket in Tony's house. The guy checked all the power strips he had. 
help him figure out how many phones he can charge at a time. Tony can charge 8 phones. Look, one strip has its cord cut. The strip with one socket is literally useless. One of the strips doesn't have a cord whatsoever. Another has no hole for a plug. Plus, one socket on each of the two strips will be taken by the plugs from the others. A rich businessman called the police. When he arrived at his office in the morning, he remembered he had left a bunch of important documents in his safe at home. He sent his secretary, John, to bring them. But the guy called half an hour later. He said the safe was open. The documents were still inside, but all the money had disappeared. The police examined the businessman's home office. They tried to find some fingerprints. Nothing at all. The detective had three suspects. The secretary, the businessman's nephew, Mark, and the housekeeper. The secretary said he had called his boss as soon as he had seen the safe. Mark said, I opened the door for John. Then I went to my room and found out about the accident only after John called me. The housekeeper told the police she had been very busy with her chores and hadn't been to the office since the previous evening. Who took the money? It was the secretary. There were no fingerprints in the room, but John was there and definitely touched different things. If he hadn't been guilty, he wouldn't have wiped his fingerprints off. Can you find a dino that is different than the rest? Right, it's this one! Hey, I'll be showing you mobile app logos, and your task is to guess them. Remember to keep your score. First, I'll show you two. One is real, and one is fake. You have to find the real one. Let's start easy. Where is the real Facebook logo? It's this one right here. What about Twitter now? It's the one on the right. Next up, Instagram. What's your call? Here it is. Where is the one and only App Store? This one, of course. Slack's turn now. Where is the one? It's the left one. What about Tinder? Do you know its logo? That's the one. Play Store. What is the correct color arrangement? Here it is. Now the famous TikTok. Do you see the correct one? This one. Snapchat's turn, find it! Pick the left one. Now the correct logo for Safari? Here's the right one. What about Zoom? Where is the correct logo? Right here. Pinterest, can you find it?
This is the one. A bit hard to figure out, but I believe in you. You've seen it way too many times. Google Maps. Here it is. Any thoughts on eBay? This one, of course. Quite easy. Shazam. What do you think? What's the right logo? It's the left one. Next up, likey. What do you say? Yeah, this one. Now try to find the correct Skype logo. Now that's the one. Where's the logo of Google Calendar? Here's the original. Do you see the correct Cash App logo? Pick the left one. What about Wish? Where is the correct logo? Here's the right one. Find the one of WeChat. It's the one on the right. Another one for you, Periscope. Which one? Here it is. Will you find the right logo for Google Drive? This one, did you get it? Next up, another easy one is Spotify. It's your choice. It's the left one. Now pick the correct Apple Wallet logo. That's the one. Any thoughts on WhatsApp? This one, of course, it was way too easy. What do you think about Facebook Messenger here? Here it is. Another easy one for you, Viber. Hit it. This one. A bit harder now. Google Lens. What do you pick? It's the one on the left. What about Amazon? This one. Can you find the correct hieroglyph from Google Translate's logo? It's this one. What about iMovie? Here it is. 
iTunes? You know it well. So what's your choice? It's the one on the right. Another one for you. Do you remember the correct color of the Etsy logo? This one right here. Okay, the last one for this task is Google Photos. It's this one. Let's change the task a bit. No right and wrong. I'll show you a logo, and you have to remember which app it is. Let's start way too easy again, and with this paper airplane, hit it. Telegram, of course. Any ideas here? That's Reddit. Okay, what about this one? Discord. Let's make it a bit more complicated. This one. That's Venmo. Did you get it right? What do you think here? Signal, another messenger. What is this app? It's Microsoft Teams. What do you say here? Airbnb. What do these two letters stand for? That's LinkedIn. It's getting harder, but you must know this one well. What is it? Google Authenticator. Do you think you know this logo? That's Uber. Did you recognize it? What is this green owl? Duolingo. It's an app where you can learn languages. Another one for you. What are your thoughts? Twitch. It's a streaming app. Do you know this one? PixArt, a photo and video editor. Do you think you know this logo? Easy, SoundCloud. What's your call on this logo? If you said group me, then you're absolutely correct. Okay, let's keep going. This one might be hard to recognize, though. What do you think? That's Bumble. What about this one?
procreate. Another one for you to recognize. Flicker, of course. This one's easy. What do you say? It's Dropbox. Something more old schooly for you. What do you say? It's Vine. Do you remember this app? Tumblr. Did you have your little dog? What's your guess here? Who is this owl? TripAdvisor. Another easy one. You're lucky today. What do you say? OneDrive. What do you say here? This is Badoo. Little tip, that's an app for organizing and productivity. Notion. Do you use it? What is your best guess here? Forest, another productivity app that helps you focus. What's the G stand for? That's Goodreads. An oldie but a goodie. It's like an age test. MySpace. If you guessed it, you're at least a millennial. Think carefully. Can you drag this one out of your memory? It's booking.com. What is it in your opinion? Vimeo. Moving on. Do you remember this one? Quite well known. Amazon Kindle, of course. What do you think this is? CapCut. What is this elephant app? Evernote. What about this one? That's Time Hop. Do you recognize this sphere? Google Earth. I know it can be hard, but any ideas here? Libby by Overdrive. It's an app that gives you access to books from your local library. The game is getting harder. What do you think this is? Ego Live. 
What about this app? It's Hootsuite. What about this little cutie? It's Waze. It's the last one for you. What is it? It's Busu. So, what's your score? Let me know in the comments. That's it for today. So, hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.